Roy Francis Mwanthi and Briton Jack Alexander Marian were first to answer to the latest discovery of drugs at the country's coast. 99.7 kilograms of cocaine worth about 598 million shillings seized by detectives from Kenya and the US at the Kilindini Harbor, Mombasa. Jack Marian was first up. The Briton denied the charges. The prosecutor applied that he be denied bail as he was a flight risk. The court will rule on this application on Monday, the 8th of August. He is managing director of Mshale Commodities Limited in Uganda and was allowed in the country for a period of six months, according to his entry permit. The second suspect, Roy Francis Mwanti, was also charged with the same offence. He was arrested in Mombasa on Sunday and brought to Nairobi for interrogation. He is a director of Inland Africa Logistics Limited based in Mombasa. He was remanded at the Gigiri police station. On the 18th of December 2012, he had also reported that gangsters hijacked his trailer that was ferrying 520 bags of Brazilian brown sugar from Mombasa to Kampala. Investigations later revealed that it was white sugar and not brown sugar. The truck had been found abandoned in Mali. Part of the sugar was found in Nairobi's Isli. Kenya's efforts to stem the tide of drugs flowing along its coastline have been something like setting sail against the wind. A vessel carrying this shipment is said to have gone missing just the day after it offloaded this shipment. The identities of the crew on board the vessel are scanty. The vessel is said to have been transporting weapons to Kismayu. The UN says Kenya's coast has been a major drug distribution hub. Traffickers from South America are said to take advantage of a country's extensive air links with Asia and Europe. The traffickers also exploit Kenya's long coastline and the weaknesses in the security controls at the port. Last year, President Uhuru Kenyatta witnessed the destruction of a vessel loaded with heroin worth 1.3 billion shillings. Sheila Sindeo, NTV.